All right, mini bike action. John here on the other side. Um, so you guys, if you've been following it, you know that I tore the Vader down after a, a high-speed run where I actually downshifted instead of upshifted because the gear shift set up with the rear sets is backwards. And because I had my hand on the phone and I couldn't grab the clutch knowing I made a mistake, she revved really high, so I tore it down to take a look. Everything was fine, but while I was in there, I went ahead. I wanted to put a new set of valves in it. Just I bought a new set of valves just in case I had bent them or something. And what I wanted to show you guys was I went ahead and put a set of YX140 valves in it. They're the same size on my Vader, maybe not all Vaders, same size on mine. But the thing I liked about them, once I got them home, after I noticed these weren't bent and they, weren't, they were sealing, there was no need to change them, except I noticed that the YX140 valves have a slightly less pocket in the center of them. They're flat, more of the flatter section here, with the less pocket on the intake. And it's same with the exhaust. The exhaust on the stock valve, and that's really hard to see. But the YX140 valve has a smaller pocket. So, you know, it's going to aid in, in uh, compression. And it almost looked like, well, <clears throat> but anyway, so I put those in there. I figured, you know, every little tiny bit helps on these little engines. And then I did go ahead and I took out the, that spot. In the intake, which you cannot see, let me grab my flashlight. So I just smoothed out. It had a ramp in there. If you've looked in your Vader and on these bigger valve heads. You look in the intake port, and this has the plate on here, but you look in the port, and uh, you can see that it starts out big, and then it necks down. So what I did was I just took that area that it necked down. Now, I know that that area probably acts as a venturi and helps air speed up, so it might aid in low end, like add a little velocity in there to aid low end power. Maybe I'm going to lose some of that. I don't know. We'll see. So I smoothed that out. And then the exhaust, I was able to go inside the exhaust and actually do a little bit of clear out. So I think because, you know, this thing's no longer a 125, it's 141. So naturally it's going to need a little bit more uh, ability to breathe. So while I had it apart this time, I went ahead and did the deporting some you know not major and I wanted to do the golf ball surface on it but I I got chicken I lost my nerve um and you know I just was too afraid to go in there and start divoting it with the way these things jumped around I got these longer bits but they don't stay perfectly smooth while you're cutting you know, and it's it. you have to be careful when you're in there. And I just didn't feel like I could do that surface, so I didn't do it. I still think it'll uh, be an improvement. Another thing that's neat was when I disassembled this with this, the T-bolt camshaft in here, which is, I think, the YX140 cam and spring combo. Uh, nowhere on the cam lobes. That's after about 2,000, a little over 2,000 miles. Nowhere at all on the on the lifter, uh, the rockers surfaces. Nothing. Just as smooth and, and nice as could be. Uh, the camshaft, it, just nothing. Nowhere at all. Just You can just see where it rubbed the black off a little bit. So, I was happy about that. That things are staying. Uh, and, you know, I use that Honda GN uh, 1040 oil. I've always used that in this. I figure if it's good enough for Hondas, it's good enough for this. So I'm going to up my jet too, my main jet. I'm going to drop my needle up my main jet to, uh, I can't remember what size, but I'll probably go up a few notches on the main jet, down maybe a, a clip, drop the needle down one because the fueling down the lower 
part of the bike was perfect. So I'll do that and start putting this thing back together and let you guys know how if the porting actually is an improvement or not. So that's it for now. Later, later.